Hello and welcome into another edition of Pac-12 Plus with number 20 Arizona State Gymnastics hosting number 12 Oregon State in another top 20 Pac-12 matchup. I'm Carly Mathias, joined alongside me is former ASU gymnast and assistant coach Carrie Ward. As the gymnasts get ready to go, ASU start things off on the vault with Oregon State on the uneven bars. The Gym Devils are coming off a third place finish at the Pac Perfect 10 Challenge. ASU scored a 195-65 to beat George Washington while falling short to number one Oklahoma and number 18 Washington. Tonight is a special meet, the Beauty and the Beast style meet with ASU Gymnastics alongside ASU Wrestling. ASU Wrestling is facing Cal Poly tonight. You can watch them on one of the other ASU live stream three. Yeah, Carly, it's a pleasure to be here tonight to watch some great gymnastics. Uh, ASU starts on vault and they're currently ranked 23rd in the country on vault and Oregon State starts on bars and they're ranked 22nd. So pretty good matchup there. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, they're both top 20 teams, and they are ranked on top 25 in all four events, so it's definitely going to be a close meet. Senior Ann Coombe will get things started off for ASU on the ball. ASU gets ready to go. They scored a, a season high on the vault last meet in the Perfect 10 Challenge. They, they hit a 49-075. And Coombe getting things started off for ASU. And she does a Yurchenko full with a beautiful stick there. Way to start things off, Anne. That Yurchenko full has a 995 start value. So not a 10, but a perfect score would be a 995. Over on bars for Oregon State. It's Colette y Yamamoka. And what we're looking for is tight cast handstands that go all the way vertical. Toe hand to Maloney. Nice hand stand there to a bail hand, a little short. I'd like to see that hit a little more on top. Another nice cast hand stand. Blind change full to a double tuck. The nice stick. A good start for Oregon State. As scores start to come in, we'll keep you guys updated on that. Up next on vault for ASU is Corin Belkoff, another senior. And she will also be doing a Yurchenko full with a 995 start. Now what we're looking for is good height and distance from the table with legs together and toes pointed and of course a stuck landing. Corin has a season high 9.775 on this event. And Coombe got things started off for ASU with a 9.8. Now on for the now on vault.
Right, a good vault, and a little piked down. Could have used a little more height from off the table. Should still be an okay score for ASU. And bars for Oregon State, Mary Jacobson. A nice handstand, blind change to a double front. Wow, good stuck landing. That's hard to do with a blind landing on a double front like that. Oregon State's first gym has scored a 9.75 on her routine. Let's take a look at ASU wrestling. Jess Ginn getting ready to go for ASU. She scored a career high 985 on the vault last week. So definitely looking to continue that upward trend for her. And ASU has really been looking at getting better at their landings and getting those sticks to up their score and possibly up their rankings before regionals. And Jess will also be doing a Yurchenko full. Again with a 995 start. Really good, really good. Good pop off the table, tight form, and great distance. A little hop there on the landing. Isis Lowley on the bars for Oregon State now. Cast okay. handstand, toe, toe hand. Maloney, a little bit of leg separation there. A beautiful pack salto. Oh, slight hesitation on that half per wet. A little short there on that last handstand. And a double layout. Just stick, really nice. I saw her struggle a little bit with that in warm ups, so that was really good. She definitely fought for that stick, but so far, all three gymnasts have stuck their dismounts for Oregon State. Couple of score updates for ASU on the vault. Corn Belkoff got a 9725. Jess Ginn a 9825. Now senior Caitlin Safransky will get things going. Really nice Yuchenko full. A little slight leg separation there on the entry. But good height and distance. Bars for Oregon State, Mariana Kalusi Pelayeth. Blind change to a nice high Jaeger. Bayo a little short of that handstand there. Another nice handstand. To a double layout and another stick for Oregon State. Over on vault, it's Kyra Leonard Baker for ASU. Really nice Yuchenko full for Cairo. Small hop there on the landing, but still another great score for ASU. Caitlin Safranci with a 9-8. It's already with three scores of 9-8 or better. Good start so far for ASU. On bars for Oregon State. Hallie Briscoe.
Guys, right, Slowry got a 985. As well with Jacobson. Frisco getting set to go. Nice cast handstand. Blind change. Nice shot of Linger. Caught just a little bit close there. Can be a deduction. Good bail handstand. Nice handstand again. Looking for another stick here. Double layout. And another stick for Oregon State. That's exactly what they want to see. Senior Morgan Wilson, Wilson over on the vault. Really good, you take a fool from Morgan. Another just tiny slight hop there on the landing. It's one thing that ASU can definitely improve on is getting those stuck landings. Even the slightest bit de deduction can make a huge difference in the end. But she's been a strong anchor for ASU. She went 9-9 last weekend on vault. That was her career high. Kyra Leonard Baker with a 9875. Even without Morgan Wilson's score coming in, ASU's already had a 49 on the event, so great start for ASU. Yeah, great start for ASU. They're looking to hit that 49 plus on all four events. Tracy Rushton will be competing in exhibition for ASU on the vault. Over on bars again for Oregon State is Sabrina Gill. And a nice baloney. Little leg separation there to a gorgeous peck salto. If OSC could get another stick here. And a clean double layout. Oh, a tiny hop there. Still a nice routine. Very clean routine for her. Good start on bars for Oregon State. Morgan Wilson's score came in at 9.85, so they finished with a 49.15. Great start for ASU as well. That is their season high on the event. They, they surpassed their score last week, so. So all that working on landings has really been helping them. <laughs> Oregon State still has one more gymnast to go. On the bars, Caitlin Yanish. Good cast handstand, blind change. I love those tight glued legs on that double layout. Really good. A good exhibition. All right, as the gymnasts move to their second event for second rotation, we'll take a quick break and we'll come back with updated scores. Hello, we welcome you back to the Beauty and the Beast meet. 
ASU Gymnastics facing Oregon State, and ASU Wrestling facing Cal Poly. After the first rotation, Oregon State has a slight lead over ASU with a 49-175. Arizona State with a 49-15. Up next, Oregon State will move to vault. ASU will be on the un uneven bars. The bars have definitely been ASU's most consistent event so far this year. They haven't really faltered much at all on this event, so definitely looking to keep that going today. OSU is ranked 14th on vault, and ASU is ranked 14th in the country on bars, so should be another tight event here. On the vault for Oregon State, Savannah Force. Here she goes. Oh, she did a Yurchenko full. She just didn't didn't quite get enough height off the table there and put her hands down. That will be a fall for Oregon State. I'm sure that's not how they wanted to start this rotation. Morgan Hart getting things started off for ASU on the bars. She's had a nice. season high, 9.875 on this event. A nice cast handstand, a big Jaeger to a bail, connected. Another handstand, good. Looking for that stick here. Really nice, a gorgeous stick. Great start for ASU. Great start for ASU. As you mentioned, Oregon State with that leadoff was a fall, so they're going to try and have to hit five for five for these next gymnasts. So they do not have to count that score. Here goes Lacey Dagan. Good, another Yurchenko full. A pretty big hop back. What she wanted to do is spot that landing a little bit more and get her chest up so she didn't have to pike down and take that big hop. Had good height though, so it should be still be an okay score for OSU. And bars up next for ASU is Justine Callis. She's hit a 9-8 the past two meets, which, uh, which is a career high for her on this event. And she's a senior here for her senior night. Cast handstand a little short to a Tkachev. Bail hand, slight leg separation, connects to a toe head. Good handstand, looking for another stick here in the ASU. Double layout, and another stick. Great job, ASU, the team's very excited. Gonna be another good score for them. Morgan Hart got a 9-8 to start things off. Run vault. Another Yurchenko full for OSU. That was McKenna Singley. She had great body position in the air. Another slight hop on that landing. OSU hoping to drop that 8.95 to start with. Back on bars for ASU. Caitlin Safransky, another senior, as you mentioned, senior night, getting ready to go. Nine eight two five for singly over on vault. And ASU wants to keep building on those scores. Nine seven seven five for Callis. Here goes Caitlin. Nice cast handstand. Toe hacked. 
Free of hand, great body position and show point. Slight leg separation there on that bail. Another good handstand. Little slight leg separation again on that blindfold. And another stuck landing for ASU. I love their team spirit. Maddie Dagan now in vault for Oregon State. A nice Yurchenko full again, another 995 start. Slight hop at the end, a little leg separation on that twist, but a good solid score for OSU. Lacey Dagan got a 975, McKenna Singley with a 9825. And yes, those two are sisters. <laughs> One a freshman, one a redshirt junior. Up next on bars for ASU is Morgan Wilson. Wilson has a season high 9825 on this event. 97 for Caitlin Sapransky. There goes Morgan Wilson, vault over little bar. Nice vertical handstand there. Line change to a big Jaeger. A little short on that handstand there. And remember, short handstands are deductions. They want to sit right on top of that bar. Nice blind full. Hopefully another stick here. Nice. Great dismount from Morgan and ASU. Back in vault for Oregon State. Caitlin Yanish. Really big Yurchenko full. She got great distance from the horse. That'll be a big score for Oregon State. Maddie Dagan got it, 9825. Lots of seniors in this lineup for ASU, another senior, Ann Coombe, the transfer from France. So she's been a wonderful addition to this ASU squad since she's been here. Ann Coon is actually a French Olympian. And here she goes. We hop hands to a shuttle Jaeger. Nice. Tight handstand, toe hand to bail hand. Looking for that handstand, it's just a little short there. Looking for another stick. Nice. Good stick, maybe a slight foot movement though. I, I don't know if the judges saw that. Back on the ball for Oregon State, Mary Jacobson. Jacobson does one of the only 10-0 start value vaults here. She does a Kazumatsu full, which gets to start from a 10-0. And the other vaults you've been seeing start from a 9.95. Caitlin Yanish with a huge 9-9 on the vault for Oregon State. Back on bars. For ASU is Kyra Leonard Baker. She 
his back-to-back -back meets with a 9-9-2-5 on the bars. And a Maloney, his legs are glued together to a nice bail hand. The pike heck to the high bar, which is rare to see. Hopefully one more stick here, full out, stick. Really great bar rotation for Arizona State. You can tell she's happy about, about that one. She's just, she just gets such amplitude on that dismount. That is huge, way up in the air, good form. Kyra has actually won bars last four, four times already this season and she has not scored below a 9A5. I don't think she'll start today. Lexi Gonzalez just there on vault for Oregon State. ASU's best score this season on bars has been a 49-2-5 against UCLA. As we mentioned, this is Beauty and the Beast meet. ASU wrestling with Cal Poly. A huge 9-9-2-5 for Cairo on bars. Third consecutive meet with that score. As we see Jessgin getting compete exhibition. Jess is a local gymnast. Bail hand. She held on to that there. She almost missed her hand on that bail. But she fought through it to get to that high bar really good. Double layout. Small step. Good exhibition. Couple score updates. 9.825 for Ann Coombe. 9.75 for Morgan Wilson. Over for Oregon State. As you mentioned, a 9.9 for Caitlin Yanish. Couple scores still coming in. You can watch. As we move into rotation three, a score update. Arizona State and Oregon State tied with 98-275. Oregon State will move to floor with ASU on the balance beam for the third rotation. And Coon gonna get things started off for ASU on the beam. ASU is currently ranked 18th in the country on beam. They need a good solid rotation, another 49 score, which would be a 9-8 average for each girl. That was a beautiful front aerial to back handspring. Great connection, great form. Anne has that elite look to her. Good switch leap to a sheep jump. She looks confident up there. Good lead off position. Side aerial, the back full. Tiny, tiny little hop there. A great start for ASU on beam. Very clean routine for Coom. Up next on floor for Oregon State. Mary Jacobson getting things started off. has a difficult first pass, a front double, oh! Just needed a little more momentum and punch there. She warmed that up great. Second pass, back one and a half to front layout. Good form. Great leaps, 
What you want to look for on leaps is that they get to 180 split. She goes for a final pass. And a front rooty. She's a, a D level skill. And I love that all the OSU girls are dancing on the sidelines. Very fun routine to get things started off for Oregon State. Back on beam for ASU, Morgan Wilson. Here goes Morgan for her acro series. Back handspring, the layout step out. Very solid. And a full turn. Each gymnast must complete a full turn on the balance beam. It's part of the special requirements. Cat lead to switch half. Slight bobble. Kick over front. She looks just a little hesitant on those landings there. And gain her full dismount off the side. Another solid set for ASU. And Kuhn scores a 9-7-75. Morgan Wilson right there looking to have another solid score. Up next on floor for Oregon State is Maddie Dagan. For those of you wanting to watch ASU Wrestling. It is now on ASU Livestream 2. So tune in to Livestream 2 if you're looking for wrestling. Maddie Dagan now on floor for Oregon State. goes for a first pass. A double back, great landing. Looking for height and control on the landing. And always mixed in with some fun choreography. They are ranked fifth in the nation on this event, so it's their, their best event for the Beavers. Expecting some high scores here. And a double pike. Oh no, she over rotated and bounced out of bounds there. Out of bounds is one tenth deduction for every foot that goes out of bounds. They've got to keep their energy up here. She goes into her last pass. Teammates are cheering her on. Front layout to front full. Good landing. Oregon State's going to want to drop that first score. Up next for ASU on bounce beam, Kyra Leonard Baker. Strata jump, back standing layout, step out. Great height, she is just so powerful in everything she does. Another full turn, good control there. Beat 
Chen to straddle three quarter. Each gymnast must complete a leap or dance connection to get bonus and as a special requirement. Backhand spring layout step out for our Afro series. Just a little off, managed to pull it back without a big deduction. Cairo saves the Afro series for the end of the routine, which is very unusual. Round off one and a half, dismount, slight hop. Another great set for Arizona State. Morgan Wilson had a 9A on beam for ASU. McKenna Singley now on floor for Oregon State. She goes for her first pass. Fun to step out, double back. Great landing there. She really puts on a performance. And pass. A nice double pike with another great landing. And a front Rudy to end her routine. Twist just a little early off the floor there and that's why she bounces a little off center. A good routine though for Oregon State. Kyra Leonard Baker with a 9.85 on the beam that ties her season high. Now Ashley Safransky. Ashley has a very unique routine. Front aerial, back handspring swing down. It's always fun to see some unique skills on beam. She's got such beautiful lines. I love watching her beam. Side aerial, a little off, but fights for it. Manages with just a little to no deduction. Switch lead, switch out. Handspring, a full twisting by handspring swing down. A very difficult move. But she makes it look easy. Showing off that flexibility there. And as you mentioned, very clean lines. And again, her full off the side. Very good routine for Ashley. Over on floor for Oregon State. Savannah Force. Oregon State looking to drop a 9.65. McKenna Singley had a 9.825. And a double pie, great landing there. Great height with her chest up. to front four. Lots of unique choreography in all of these routines so far. It's fun to see the gymnast personalities come out.
on to her last pass. A nice double back. Another solid routine for Oregon State. Ashley Safransky got a 9-8-2-5 for ASU. Heather Udowich, another senior, back on beam for ASU. Heather has missed the last two weeks on this event. She was sick and then wasn't able to compete. Good to see you. An aerial to beat you. Senior night. Yes, definitely. Back handspring layout step out. Just a little bit of knee bend there. Switch leap to switch out. Always looking for that 180 split, 180 degree split there. Another great full turn. Cat leap to kick in the front. Very solid. A lot of these gymnasts flash the pitchfork with their hands during their beam routine. It's fun to see. Side aerial, back full. She's yeah. definitely happy about that yes. one. Yes, great routine for ASU. Building that momentum. Savannah Force got a 9.875 for Oregon State. Isis Lowry now competing for the Beavers. And this is a fun routine to watch. She's very powerful. <laughs> Even the ASU girls are dancing. Punch run, double full. Showmanship is Big plus on floor. Back one and a half to front layout. Great form there. <laughs> Everyone's getting in on this routine. It's like a dance party out here. Four two crew behind her. <laughs> Getting everybody pumped up in here. <laughs> On to her last pass. All smiles out here. I'm gonna front Rudy to end. A little backward worm. Putting on her crown there at the end. Lots of personality in that routine. Everyone's happy about that one. Justine Callis anchoring beam for ASU. Very unique mount for her. I love watching Justine's beam. She's got such great artistry and uniqueness to all of her skills and her dance. Makes it a lot of fun to watch. She has been named the Beam Queen for ASU. <laughs> She'll get back handspring, get back handspring, layout, step out from end of the beam to the end of the beam. Triple series you don't see very often. The control on that full turn. Split jump to double staggering. In that double stag ring, it's difficult. You actually lose sight of the balance beam as you drop your head backward. She handled that just fine. And a front handspring down to her knee. I actually think that's the hardest part of her beam routine. 
how she lands like that and then jump, gets up on her toes, I, I still don't know. She competes with such confidence. She makes everything look easy. And a side aerial. Great beam routine. Big smile at the end of that one. Justine Powell. She's got lots of friends and family here tonight watching her. Caitlin Yanish now on floor for Oregon State. Caitlin's actually a local kid as well from Chandler. She's got a big first pass here. Gorgeous double layout, wow. Great height and form. She looks like she's having fun out there. Front fold to front layout. Not seeing a lot of deduction so far. teammate there ready to cheer her on in the corner. On to her last pass. And a beautiful double back. <laughs> Great way to end that floor rotation for OSU. Beautiful, beautiful routine from Yanish. Isis Lowry got a 9-9-2-5. Back on beam competing exhibition is freshman Jasmine Gutierrez. She made her collegiate debut just a few weeks ago and got a 9-8-5 on this event. Was a backhand swing layout step out. She just didn't quite get the height or push off her back leg onto that layout. So she had to drop her, her chest and, and lean to the side. ASU's final score on beam. Oh, beautiful. Full twisting swing down. ASU's final score on the beam of 49-1-5. So they have hit a 49 on all three events so far. Nice switch side there for Jasmine. No. One and a half so for her dismount. Oregon, Oregon State finished with a 49-225 on the floor. We'll take another break as the gymnasts move to their fourth and final rotation and give you some more score updates.
fourth and final rotation getting ready to start. Oregon State with the slight lead with a 147.5. ASU with a 147.425. Oregon State closing things off on the balance beam. McKenna Singley for the Beavers. Beautiful back handspring layout step out. And a great control full, full turn for her. She's looking to start things off for a consistent hit for OSU. Going into this tight ending of this Kick over front. Showing off that flexibility. Getting a little breather here. Cartwheel, gainer full. Slight step there. Really need to get those sticks in. ASU closing the meet out on floor. Junior Jeskin getting things started off with this rotation. She's got a fun routine here to watch. Crowd loves it. You can already see the whole team getting in on it too. <laughs> Can't help but dance with her. Here she goes first pass. Contact step out, through to double back. Great landing. Now she can really let loose. There she goes. Front layout, Franny. Nice big leaps. She has so much fun on this event. She's hit a 9.825 on this event twice this year. Going into her last pass here. And a double pike, nice. Landing, chest up. Great start for ASU. Very solid routine from Dan. <laughs> Marina Lucy Poliath on beam for Oregon State. Spring to lay out, step out, nice and solid there. Mariana following up a 9.825 from Singley to start. Split jump to ring jump there. Again, a blind landing on that skill. She needs a little more momentum off that back foot there. Landed with her chest down, that will be a deduction. But still a solid set for Oregon State. Christine Callis up next on the floor for ASU. Another fun routine to watch. She is a performer. Oh, had the wrong music, so. She will get to restart. And let's try that again. As I said, she is a performer, so you can see her personality come out in this a lot. Nice 
double pike there. Great showmanship by Justine here. A lot of backhand swing, two and a half. Flip through to the ground there. Big smile on her face. One and a half to front layout. Awesome job for ASU. Kaylin Mianish, now on beam for Oregon State. She is a late add. Maddie Dagan got taken out of the lineup, so Yanish now taking her place. Backhand swing layout step out, just the tiniest of wobbles there. Will only be a slight deduction. Switch leap to standing layout. Again, just the slightest wobble. Looks like she's just being a little bit hesitant. Holding back, just in the slightest. But coming in as a late ad, that's, she's, doing, she's doing great. It's a tough place to be. Switch leap to straddle corner. Good split there. Front hand spring. Again, just a little, little bend at the hips. Gainer full off the side. A good hit. Coming in clutch for OSU there. Corinne Belkoff and four for ASU. A double pike land, just a little bit with her chest down. Was probably trying to control that landing and came out just a little bit early. to her second pass. And a front double full. Corinne's another senior here who's Who's local? She's from Tucson, Arizona. It's fun to see wrestling there in the background. <laughs> Crowd getting into both sports going on right now. One and a half to front layout. Another solid routine for ASU. Back on beam, Sabrina Gill. Callis got a 9.825 on floor. Lucy Pelias got a 9.85 for Oregon State. Still waiting on Yanish's score. Split jump, double staggering. Front aerial. Take a 
with hand swings. That's her acro series, which is a requirement. And the switch half to be jump. A little bobble there, dropped her chest just a little bit. And gain her full off the side. Good set for OSEO. Caitlin Yanish with a 9725 for Oregon State. Now we're on floor and Coom. Another senior in this floor lineup. One of my favorite routines for ASU. First pass, whip to double tuck. Great height and amplitude, and her knees are glued together. As you mentioned earlier, she is a former French Olympian, so a little bit more of a European style routine from her. And she is also a senior. Two and a half. I had the pleasure of watching ASU in practice this week. And they were so much fun to watch. They are trained just like they compete. Really hard working, great group of girls. Last pass from full to front tap with a jump out of it. Great set for Ann. Next on beam. For Oregon State, Lacey Dagan, following a 9-9 from Sabrina Gell. Switch lead to switch side. Good amplitude and great split. For narrow the split jump. Back handspring layout step out. Landed with her chest down just a little bit. Would have liked to see her get a little more height on that layout. And full turn. Overturned it a little bit. Tried to cover it up. Cover up that wobble. It's college style. <laughs> Gainer pike off the end. And Kim with a 9.775 on floor. Now Caitlin Safransky. Once again, another senior. Mm -hmm. First pass, double pie. A little hop back there on that. A little too much power. Great leaps. Her teammates having fun with her. <laughs> Double back. One and a half to front layout. Great landing, good form there. 
Throwing up the pitchfork there at the end. Closing things out on beam for Oregon State is Mela Lazaro. She's following Lacey Dagan's 9.85 on the beam. She goes for acro series, but hands from layout, step out. Slight wobble there. Oh no. That is a fall when you fall and, and when you touch the beam and lose all of your balance. Side aerial to back full. Good stick there. Finished off the routine well. So after Ann Coombe had a 9.875 on floor, Caitlin Sopranti follows with a 9.825. Now uh, a fan favorite, Kyra Leonard Baker on the floor. Here she goes for her first pass. Big old double back. Cairo has hit a 9.95 on this event twice this year. She's always so much fun to watch. Second pass. Back one and a half to a front full. Nice and stuck. Good form there. <laughs> A little hype going on. Double pike. Great floor for Cairo. Great anchor to this event and the whole meet for ASU. Lazaro did get a 9.05 on beam, so they will drop that score. Morgan State will, will finish with the 49.15 on the balance beam. ASU looking to drop one of those 9775 with Cairo's routine. We'll have the final team scores for you shortly. Tell some more while well, uh, Cairo Leonard Baker's score is still coming in. And Coombe finished the all around with a 39325. Kyra Leonard Bake with a 9-9 nine, nine on the floor. Floor total of 49-2. Kyra Leonard Baker 
will take home the all-around title for the 39.55, which is her highest all-around so far this season and in her career. A couple of the uh, event titles, Caitlin Yanish from Oregon State will take home the, the vault event title. On the uneven bars, Kyra Leonard Baker with that 9925. On the balance beam, Oregon State's Sabrina Gill. And on the floor, Isis Lowry from Oregon State with a 9925. A great meet for both Oregon State and Arizona State. Final results of tonight's meet. Oregon State with a 196.65 and ASU with a 196.625, their highest score so far this season. Our next gymnastics live stream will be on Wednesday, March 13th, when the Sun Devils take on West Virginia and BYU here at Wells Fargo at 6.30. Our, na our next ASU live stream will be tomorrow when the Sun Devil baseball team faces off against UC Davis live at 2 o'clock for the first game of, du of a doubleheader at Phoenix Muni. From the entire stream team, production staff, cr and crew, and for Carrie Ward, I'm Carla Mathias saying goodnight from Wells Fargo Arena in Tempe. Double pike land, just a little bit with her chest down. Was probably trying to control that landing and came out just a little bit early. On to her second pass. And a front double full. Another senior here who's who's local. She's from Tucson, Arizona. It's fun to see wrestling there in the background. <laughs> Crowd getting into both sports going on right now. One and a half to front layout. Another solid routine for ASU. Back on beam, Sabrina Gill. Callis got a 9.825 on floor. Lucy Pelias got a 9.85 for Oregon State. Still waiting on Yanish's score. Split jump, double staggering. Front aerial. Take that handspring. That's her acro series, which is a requirement. And the switch half to beat jump. A little bobble there, dropped her chest just a little bit.
And Gainer full off the side. Good set for OSU. Caitlin Yanish with a 9.725 for Oregon State. Now we're on floor and Coom. Another senior in this floor lineup. One of my favorite routines for ASU. First pass, whip to double tuck. Great height and amplitude, and her knees are glued together. As you mentioned earlier, she is a former French Olympian, so a little bit more of a European style routine from her. And she is also a senior. Two and a half. I had the pleasure of watching ASU in practice this week. And they were so much fun to watch. They are trained just like they compete. Really hard working. Great group of girls. Last pass, front full to front tap with the Jump out of it. Great set for Ann. Next on beam for Oregon State, Lacey Dagan. Following a 9 9 from Sabrina Gell. Switch lead to switch side. Good amplitude, great split. Front arrow to split jump. Back handspring layout step out. Landed with her chest down just a little bit. Would have liked to see her get a little more height on that layout. And full turn. Overturned it a little bit. Tried to cover it up. Cover up that wobble. It's college style. <laughs> Gainer pike off the end. Once again, another senior. First pass, double pie. A little hop back there on that. A little too much power. Leaps. Her teammates having fun with her. <laughs> nice double back. Throwing up the pitchfork there at the end. Mm -hmm. 
closing things out on beam for Oregon State is Mela Lazaro. She's following Lacey Dagan's 9.85 on the beam. She goes for acro series, back hands from the layout, step out. Slight wobble there. And for your son, our redshirt senior from Suwannee, Georgia. Oh no. That is a fall. When you fall and, and when you touch the beam and lose all of your balance. Side aerial to back full. Good stick there. Finished off the routine well. So after Ann Coombe had a 9.875 on floor, Caitlin Sopranti follows with a 9.825. Now uh, a fan favorite, Kyra Leonard Baker on floor. Here she goes for her first pass. Big old double back. Cairo has hit a 9.95 on this event twice this year. She's always so much fun to watch. Second pass. Back one and a half to a front full. Nice and stuck. Good form there. <laughs> A little hype going on. Double pike. Great floor for Cairo. Great anchor to this event and the whole meet for ASU. Lazaro did get a 9.05 on beam, so they will drop that score. Morgan State will, will finish with the 49.15 on the balance beam. ASU looking to drop one of those 9775 with Cairo's routine. We'll have the final team scores for you shortly. Tell some more. Well, uh, Cairo Leonard Baker's score is still coming in. And Coombe finished the all around with a 39325. Kyra Leonard Bake with a 9-9 nine, nine on the floor. Floor total of 49-2. Kyra Leonard Baker will take home the all-around title with a 39.55, which is her highest all-around so far this season and in her career. A couple of the uh, event titles, Caitlin Yanish from 
Oregon State will take home the, the vault event title. On the uneven bars, Kyra Leonard Baker with that 9925 on the balance beam. Oregon State's Sabrina Gill. And on the floor, Isis Lowry from Oregon State with a 9925. A great meet for both Oregon State and Arizona State. Final results of tonight's meet. Oregon State with a 196.65 and ASU with 196.625, their highest score so far this season. Our next gymnastics live stream will be on Wednesday, March 13th, when the Sun Devils take on West Virginia and BYU here at Wells Fargo at 6.30. Our, na our next ASU live stream will be tomorrow when the Sun Devil baseball team faces off against UC Davis live at 2 o'clock for the first game of, of a doubleheader at Phoenix Muni. From the entire stream team, production staff cr and crew, and for Carrie Ward, I'm Carla Mathias saying goodnight from Wells Fargo Arena in Tempe.